So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Barnes and the 10,000 Virgo for Sagittarius Ascendant people. As in what happens when Mars is in the 10th house in the sign of Sagittarius for Sagittarius or in the sign of Virgo for Sagittarius Ascendant people. And as always, if you do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all your local details, check out the links here, caresastrology.com, where you'll find my books, reports, consultations, and link to my academy, Maghavadik Astrology Academy, where you'll find my number one course now, probably in the world, Wristwatch and Wealth. So, can't believe it. Um, I thought Nandi Nadi would be the number one course. That has become the number one course in the past, literally, month and two since I released it. Oh, I'm happy. So, Mars in the 10th house in Virgo. I mean, if you really look at it, I mean, this is like position of a lawyer. You know, Mars is a fighter, right? Mars is here to deal with fights and defend. And what is... 10th house is the karma, is the most visible karma that people will see about you. And the thing is, Virgo is a sign of disputes, fights, litigation, health. Okay. It is pretty much the shadripus, as they call it. So here, <clears throat> what happens is because Mars is a 12th lord of your past life, 5th lord of your future, and including your you know, Sanjeevni known as your children. You will see, especially after birth of children, career can become undefeated. Especially if you're in the right career. Now, Mars in the 10th that doesn't mean you are going to be a, a, a lawyer, but this is a very strong... I've always seen it, actually. That's why I'm saying it. Um, but of course, there was a connection of Saturn and Mercury and Sun and Ketu. So that has to be there. You know, but you will see, you have the type of um, position of Mars... Where especially because of your chart, your children are going to be very successful. Okay, especially if they pick the right career, they'll be successful. And that even th this is a, one of those positions where it signifies that. But the thing is, um, mother's chart always overpowers the father's chart. And when it comes to the karma and and... Because the child is developing with mother. Remember, mother is the 90% God for a child in terms of astrological contribution. So, but this also signifies that your Sanjeevni booty will be successful. And uh, one thing you will also see is that the younger brother always have to deal with some kind of a either dispute, fight, some legal issue happens with them because what the ha the thing is they tend to automatically create conflicts in their life and you will see also um especially in a female's chart husband will always get into fights and dispute with his mother your mother and your husband well, I mean, your husband's character will really come from um, his mother. Both are going to be very critical, very critical in nature, uh, very nitpicking, very p picking all kinds of little nitty gritty details. Oh, why are you wearing this? Oh, look at that little red color on the side that doesn't match with that particular top. Oh, and then wh what about with these socks? I can see that little yellow on that socks. Never be like, oh, you look great. Yeah, it looks perfect. Yeah. No, there's always going to be some form of like, uh, some form of error picking that occurs with this particular Mars. Um, the one thing you will see though, with this Mars, you get a very strong spouse. Spouse is always gonna be there. Spouse will have strength. I'm not gonna say it's, they're always gonna be there. But they provide tremendous strength in your life, with business, with your career, with your reputation. And usually when Mars is in the 10th house, 28th year is, becomes a very strong period for this person to get married. 
So 28th year, marriage occurs for this person. Usually also you will see um, if Mars is somehow being impacted by Rahu, Rahu, Moon or Ketu, such person will also will like to go into military, especially dealing with um, fighter jets. And especially if let's say you do pick and, and, and of course with Mars in the 10th house, if you do become an attorney, especially things connected with tax law, financial frauds, okay, um, becomes some of the best, um, uh, what do you call subjects to pick along with if let's say you become a attorney in the government itself like f fighting for the government you know regarding whatever the case is so that becomes very fruitful with this particular mars but here this is one of the best positions for mars to be in naturally the thing is you know the reason why we see so many lawyers including surgeons with this mars in the 10th house is because the sign the planet is placed in, okay, the sign that planet is placed in is the environment of that planet. It's the playground of the planet. Planet doesn't become weak or strong just because it's in Virgo or Cancer. Nope. That's not how Nighty works. Nighty works on other concepts to see if the planet is strong or weak. Uh, but the circumstances like Mars, right? Whoever Mars is, Mars is. Whatever jacket it's wearing, whatever like the clothing it's wearing, that is the sign that it's in. But that doesn't change who Mars is. Okay. Um, so when it's wearing the clothing of Virgo. Okay. It'll, it, even though this is a feminine sign. You can say Mars is even wearing feminine clothes. But guess what? Mars is still able to grab you and kill you. If it needs to. So Mars is still going to do what it's going to do. So Virgo represents naturally the area of disputes, health, fights, enemies, competition. So one's going to be surrounded in their work with these particular things. So you want to go in a career where you'll enjoy being around such people. Because if you don't, then you're going to be like, my, I can't stand with my career. There's too many work politics, this and that. My manager's against me. My coworker's against me. It's just, you're just going to complain to someone else you're gonna talk to astrologers and say the same thing so might as well align yourself with this mars be in a place where you can be successful in a competitive environment don't run away from the competitive environment when somebody doesn't like you in the environment just know now you're gonna find success in this particular place the more people won't like you in your workspace the more you have animosity around you you will actually be succeeding in there but you have to accept that fact first you can't just feel that you're going to be succeeding until you f accept that fact that this is my environment and you thrive. You, you feel like, okay, I'm going to thrive in this particular environment. I love it. Every day I'm going to go there. Oh, I love that person doesn't like me. And I love that person always talking to the other person about me. Boom. Just get to work and you will succeed. Okay. So anyway, guys, this is my analysis of Mars in the 10th house in the sign of Virgo for Sagittarius Ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss this type of videos. If you want to know everything about your Mars, where it's placed, all my consultations, reports, link here. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later with some special video, actually. Bye-bye.